sure is. It's very pretty. My wife and I picked it right after the war, and we came and stood at various places. You said yesterday that you first came to Mount Desert Island, I think when you were just a few months old. In, with your, with your three months old. Three months old. Three months old. How important has the Canadian National Park and Mount Desert Island uh, been to you? How, how, how important in your life? I would say very important. I, uh, I don't, I can't truthfully say that I remember when I came in three months, <laughs> but I remember many times since, and I've always enjoyed it, and uh, I'm, a great many of the happy events of my life have taken place here. Dad, um, you yeah. did so much learning about natural history when you were a boy here. You might tell some about that, because those, those are great events. Mm -hmm. You went on field trips. And yes. And, and you're thinking of the field trips from here? Well, didn't wasn't there a, a naturalist, a woman, that oh, you that's used right. to study Mrs. with here? There was a lady named Mrs. Neal, mm -hmm. and she was at, uh, in Bar Harbor. What was the laboratory there? The Jackson Lab. The Jackson Lab. Mm -hmm. she, she was... At Jackson Lab, she gave a course on nature study to young people like myself from families, uh, which is really Henry Ford Jr. Mm -hmm. uh, and she would, we would walk around uh, uh, that pond and uh, the fields and so on, and she would point out objects of interest and uh, I think Henry Ford uh, did not take great interest in it. He went on to make automobiles which <laughs> probably was more important. But, uh, I did take a great interest and followed up on that and I even um, went so far as making a, a nature study plan up at the Jordan Pond. So it's, uh, it, it was in a way an important, uh, a small episode in my life.